We are now halfway through this fall semester and our sports teams have had some ups and downs. Let's see what's going on in South Bend Sports Zone. <laughs> Welcome to the week four edition of SVST Sports Zone. We're your hosts, Commander Jenkins and Davis Holly. Week six of football season has passed, and some teams won and some teams took an L. The first game featured the Adams Eagles facing off against New Prairie and losing a close one, 16 to 20. So, Commander, this is like a very close game. This is um, a make or break um, game for the Adams Eagles, yeah. as this was going to put their momentum back into the season. But um, because they were going in, they had just came off of a loss. They were three and one, and they were just trying to get another win, um, go back to four and one, and just try to improve on the season. Um, yeah, but the Prairie's the, yeah. a, they're a tough team. So exactly, you know. they have a massive line. They have a bunch of prospects going to college. Also, like they lost um, Adams, lost their number one quarterback early in the you know, quarter, um, like early in the game, and then their freshman quarterback actually stepped up and threw two touchdowns. Right. Do and you feel like if they had their starting quarterback, you think they would have probably won or even did better? Yeah, or they, do you they think their backup, you know, like they would have outplayed. I feel like if they would have had their starter, like you know, he was a starter for a reason, you know. Yeah. Like they knew for sure he could get the job done, and he probably could have if he would have stayed in the game and wouldn't have gotten hurt. Yes, yes, he could have. Yeah, but um, besides that, they did they did pretty well. New Prairie came back, scored with like three minutes left in the game, and Adams couldn't do much else from that point on. So, yeah, but moving that on. Happens. Next up, Clay went on the road and faced Jimtown Jimmies and took a beating, losing in the dominant fashion of 49-6. to six. How Man. do you feel about that, David? 49-6. to six. Well, You know, Jimtown, they just, just made a statement straight up. They just, they made, a, they just made a statement. They 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 wanted to let everyone know that they can go on, they can score big, just like the rest of them. Clay, unfortunately, they wanted to, you know, get another win on their season. They thought this was going to be the game, but I mean, they they, you they know, always try, so that's you know, good. They scored early on Jimtown, but Jimtown took it from there. So there's pretty much nothing else you can do. Yeah. Any other comments on that game? I mean, I just feel like Clay, Clay, they're trying, but yeah. you know, they just don't have like the players. Exactly. Like, but they are on the rise, for sure. They are. They got yeah. their first win. Exactly. Their first game, so yeah. I know they was happy. But yeah, exactly. But yeah. To me, it's like they're yeah. turning back they to just, like yeah. the old, the old yeah. clay. Yeah, know? but they, they got to fix their ways and, you know, finish out the season. They will. Yep. They will. Last up, we headed over to TCU School Field for that anticipated matchup between the 2-3 and three Riley Wildcats and the 1-4 and four Washington Panthers. Blake Wesley was on the field getting our SBS TV Sports Zone Team of the Week night segment. At school field on the special Panther senior night, the Riley Wildcats traveled to take on Washington Panthers as the Panthers were desperate for a win. Coach Stamick spoke proudly about his team. All the, all the months that we had where we couldn't get together and we couldn't build continuity and trust, but these kids have, have, have jumped on board and they followed the instructions, they followed the guidelines. Uh, they've just done an excellent job and it's really a credit to this generation, uh, which doesn't, you know, Always the youth don't always get the credit that they deserve, but this, this generation deserves a lot of credit for putting up with probably the more, one of the most difficult situations athletically or academically we've ever seen. Our ability to, to face adversity. I think the public in general thinks that when high school kids nowadays face something tough, uh, they tend to shut down or give up. And our kids have actually showed 100% the opposite, that, that the harder things have gotten for them, the more that they've answered the bell. And I'm very proud of them for that. The Panthers had a young quarterback who described how he and the Panthers felt this week. I feel like we were very prepared. We've been working hard at practice all week. I didn't start on offense just last year, but I started on defense. But I'm starting on offense this year, not starting on defense. Um, to not throw any more picks this year, um, to, get a, to rush more yards, and to keep winning. Coaching in South Bend is, is one of the greatest things you can do on the planet. The kids here are fantastic. With SBS TV Sports Zone, I'm Blake Wesley. Thanks, Blake. 
Riley Wildcats ended up winning a close game 24-21. They are now 3-4 and four on the season, and now the Washington Panthers are now scrambling to find some wins as they are now 1-6 on the year. 1-6. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're heading into their last stretch, their last two games. But, you know, like, um, this is a game that they really needed. If they really wanted some momentum for their year, uh, for their season, you, you know, know they, they really wanted exactly. to be right. It was it was a city game, city rivalry. That always sparks, you know. There was actually fans from both sides, a lot you know. Of fans, exactly. Too. So um, Washington, they they were behind 21 to seven in the third quarter before busting out some big runs, scoring came a back. touchdown. Riley answered with a field goal. Washington came back, scored another touchdown, made it really close. But Riley was able to hang on. Get and, some clutch yeah. tackles and all of exactly. that. Exactly, you know. Um, very close game. Very close game. Yeah, um, highlighting some Washington players. You know, Tyrone Davis made a he made a wonderful catch yes, for a touchdown. Did. You know, um, their sophomore quarterback. We actually got to talk to him on the field. He he made some wonderful plays. Um, but Riley, Riley, they did a lot too. You know, Commander Jenkins. He he ran the ball for Commander like massive Jenkins games. Yeah, 50, 50 yards, I think. We also had um, Tyson Lee. Yeah, Tyson Lee. He he actually made the game-winning sack. Yes, he did. Know, on the last play. Yeah, man, it was, it was a good game. Moving on, Notre Dame will face off against Florida State after taking last Saturday off to the players testing positive to COVID-19. So, Commander, do you think that like taking the game off last Saturday actually benefited them, or like? I mean, like, if they was practicing hard and ready, mm -hmm. probably. But if they were just like, okay, we got COVID-19, so we just gonna like chill for today and like do that stuff. No. Exactly, like. To me, I would have been pretty mad if I was on that Notre Dame team because, yes. like, you know, like that Saturday night, they were supposed to go out there and just Prepare play. The Exa whole week exactly. Um, instead, they had to, like, reschedule that game. So, like, now they have to face them later on down the season. Yeah. Maybe some of their players will be hurt by then or, like, anything could happen. Exactly. Um, so they, they were just trying to get, get a win this, this past Saturday. But now they're, they're looking to go up against Florida State, a good, talented team that can take over any type of game. Do you think Notre Dame could beat them? Yeah, I, I feel like they can if they do the right things, if they just play smart, and if they don't just, they don't give the game away. That's it. Yeah. It's literally, and that's the easiest Florida thing. Is, that's the key to winning. Florida is a, they're a tough team, and they always, they never give up. Exactly. They always try their hardest. You know, they're able to dominate any game, if, as long as you give it to them, you know? Never um, give them a chance. Mm -hmm, exactly. SBS TV Sports Zone invites you to send us any footage of South Bend School's athletics, send us your posters and school songs. You can send us this on our Facebook page at SBSTV slash WTL or email us at davisale 2 at gmail.com. Tonight, we have the three and four Riley Wildcats taking on the Bremen Lions at Bremen. The three and four Adams Eagles will be taking on Jimtown on the road. The Washington Panthers host Gary Westside at home. Lastly, the one and six Clay Colonials will be taking on John Glenn at home. So, Commander, what are your predictions on tonight? Well, for Bremen and us, do you know that's that's basically like a semifinal for the NIC South Championship. Yes. So it's a if Bremen wants to win this NIC Championship, they have to beat Riley. If Riley wants to win it, they have to beat Jim, they have to beat Bremen. You know, like. Well, you know, I was watching you know film and so I was watching Marion and yeah, we're Bremen, copying yeah. Marion's defense and exactly. Marion was destroying Bremen. Yeah, exactly. Like destroying them. So. If we just do that, I think that we will have a good chance mm -hmm. of beating Bremen. Exactly. And Bremen, they, all they need is this win, and they will win the NIC South. But if Riley wins, they have the chance to take it all over. Take it back. Exactly. So um, that's that for the Riley Wildcats. We wish them luck this, uh, this Friday. Um, moving on, Washington taking on Gary Westside. They're trying to get another win. Well, you know, exactly. Riley went against... Uh, Gear West side a couple so. weeks back, yeah, and yeah. they actually dominated them. So, so Washington might be getting their second one of the year. Yeah, but you never uh, don't you count never anybody know you out. Yeah, out, but exactly. They just got to play hard, play and play to the best of their abilities. Clay, um, they're just also looking to take another win. You know, get some momentum back on the year, and just finish what they started. Same goes for Adams. We wish them luck. Hopefully, Sidney Jeffries and company can like do do what they're supposed to do and just finish out strong. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks for tuning in to our week four edition of SBST Sports Zone. I'm David Saleh. And I'm Commander Jenkins. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.